uh, it's a last ditch attempt by a Raja. Firing his last and perhaps the most dangerous weapon. Putting for the first time the Prime Minister himself in the spot. This is perhaps the Congress Party and the UPA's worst nightmare. Who has done all it can to keep the Prime Minister out of the scam. But now Times Now has accessed a series of six letters. There is correspondence between Raja and the Prime Minister on the 2G spectrum allocation. A trail that shows that A. Raja was communicating all along with the Prime Minister. The biggest scam the country has witnessed. The man at the centre of it to defy his last and perhaps most potent weapon. Drawing in the Prime Minister himself. Raja's allegations may have little legal implications, but Times now has a trail of six letters that show that Raja was communicating with the Prime Minister. First three letters were communications between the Prime Minister and the then Telecom Minister A. Raja. All of the letters written on the 2nd of November 2007. The letter first written by the Prime Minister raised concerns that were brought to his notice by the telecom industry. The other two letters were replies made by Telecom Minister A. Raja saying that he would take care of the policy and keep the entire process transparent and above board. The reply came on the same day. In his letter, Raja trashes questions raised by the then Law Minister H. R. Bharadwaj. And in the third letter between the two, in less than 24 hours, Raja once again assures the Prime Minister the transparency was being maintained. Third letter is the most interesting letter. On December 27th, Raja wrote a letter to the Prime Minister. In an annex attached to the letter, he details the now controversial method by which some of the companies like Swan Telecom was able to secure 2G licenses, basically altering requirement method to procure 2G licenses. A week later, the Prime Minister acknowledged receiving this letter, though the PM did not raise any objections. In 2008, when Raja was first asked about the Spectrum sale, he went on for the first time to name the Prime Minister and the then Finance Minister P. Chidambaram, going on to use Chidambaram's argument to justify the stake sale in Unitec and Swan. I did according to my conscience, it under registration according to my leaders. Uh... So, do you agree? Do you admit your guilt? What is mean by guilt? I did everything according to NTP 99 and the try recommendation. A. Raja's last-ditch attempt to save himself, raising questions that the opposition had been asking all along. And the Prime Minister has time and again defended. In a coalition government, you can suggest your preferences, but you have to go by what the leader of that particular coalition party ultimately insists and Mr. Raja, along with Mr. Maran, was the choice of the DMK party. I have publicly declared that I am willing to appear before the PSC. So I am, I am not afraid of appearing before any committee. Including if, a JPC, sir? Including a JPC. The question now is, will Prime Minister now respond to his former minister's charges? Bureau Report, Times Now.